Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a home vlog. We got a lot to do today. We got to take Bandit to the vet because he's been real itchy lately. And I don't know if, if some of you guys are new or uh, if you guys don't remember, he has cancer. He's got colon cancer. So we're thinking that maybe it is spread a little bit and that's what's causing him to be so itchy. We were thinking that it was looking really good because they took him off the prednisone, which was the steroid that was used to help like de-inflammate. I don't know if that's the right word, but that helped reduce the size of the cancerous growths and he was getting UTIs because of that. So we took him off of that in order to prevent the UTIs and now we're thinking we might have to put him back on it, but we're taking him to the vet just to like get a checkup on the cancer update and to see if the itching is being caused by cancerous growths. We want to do some cleaning up in this is what is now currently the office and we're thinking of changing this into the guest bedroom and the guest bedroom into the office. So one of the things that we want to do is we got a lot, a lot of board games that we don't play anymore. So probably going to get rid of a lot of them and take them to be donated. And then I want to get rid of this green thing. I've had this green thing forever <laughs> and it's made out of two by fours and plywood. So it weighs about a million pounds and yeah, we don't need it. Though is the, the hardware. I think that the hardware is like uh, vintage. Mm, no, I think we could probably get this somewhere. You think? Yeah. Okay. We could save it. That's fine. Like it takes up very little space. I'll save it. But I think I could probably find that somewhere. We are just so you guys know, because we did get a whole bunch of games in a mail vlog very recently, like this greedy granny game. <laughs> we haven't played that yet. So we're not getting, we're not going to be donating any of the games that we haven't played because that, I, I want to play that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can see Tim down there. We always start projects and we're like, we're going to vlog it. We're going to show you guys. We're so excited. And then we don't actually show you guys. And then we drop things, but then we don't actually show you guys what we're doing. So but I'm doing it. I'm taking it apart. Yeah. Here's our hardware. Wow. This thing is dirty. Yeah. Holy cow. Old. Yeah. It was never able to be cleaned because of the way that it was painted. Oh yeah. Anytime I would try to like wipe it with, um, like pledge or something, it, whatever I was using would just stick to the wood. Yeah. So this is like 30 years of dirt right here. Something like that. How do I look? This is, this is like. 2000 to 2002 Tim. <laughs> is this what you wore to prom? This shirt is not. This is just a shirt that I had when I was maybe like 21. Oh. This is what I wore to prom though. I had like a roughly shirt that went inside of it. You look like Dumb and Dumber. It's, it's so big. I didn't realize it was so big. Even in high school, I don't think that it was looked this big. <laughs> maybe I'm smaller Are than you I shrinking? was in high school. I'm shrinking. You're shrinking. But it, look at how big it is. It looks uh, pretty sharp. No. Are you going to get rid of it? But I'm going to donate it so that somebody else can wear it to their prom. Yeah? Yeah, because <laughs> I think that somebody else will. I'm, I'm, where did you find it? Uh, good, goodwill. Oh, yeah. full circle. Full circle. We are in the car getting ready to take Bandit to the vet. I don't know if you can hear him. There he is. <laughs> He's very crazy. That's what he does every time. We're donating some fun stuff. Yeah, super loud. Super loud dog. Good time. Bandit. You are at the vet. You're so excited. Oh, now you're running away. We're at the vet with Bandit. You feeling okay, Bandit? He's so excited to be here, but he knows. He knows. <laughs> He's very itchy, so we're trying to figure out if he needs to go back on the steroid. So we will see. He's just looking for food. <laughs> we're back from the vet, you guys. Here's baby Boo. Um, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put him down. <laughs> I'm put him down. Uh -huh. Okay, so we got some good news from the vet. He is, we took him to the vet because he was super itchy and so we found out that we don't have to put him back on the steroid. He gave us another anti, uh, antihistamine? Antihistamine, yeah. Yeah, so he's just gonna take that for a little bit. Hopefully that'll help his like itchy skin and then we got some stuff to bathe him with and like some leave on stuff. So everything else looks okay. Like his growths that are kind of like in his colon, he couldn't feel them when he like went to check for them. Um, so I think. Yeah. We're kind of in the same position that we were in um, when this whole, you know, this when this week started where he's just kind of itchy and we don't really know why. So we're just gonna give him some stuff, see if that helps. We did find some growths kind of like all over his body. So, and I know older dogs, they just kind of, that happens as they get older. And if you have an older dog, you probably are dealing with the same thing. So he got those, um, they kind of poked him to see like, what are these? Do we need to get rid of them? Are they bad? Are they okay? So he got four pokes. Four pokes. Yeah, so it was an, it was a very like busy day for him, so he's very tired now, so I don't know how much more he'll be in the video. Yeah. But um but now 
I'm going to Target. Going to the Target. Yeah. Ta -ta 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 Target. <laughs> Jen, do you think your your sunglasses are over here? I came back to look for them. It's a it's a it's a Valentine's Day taco. Is it scented? Can you, Jen? Can you look at that sticker there that says I'm scented? Is that for the taco? Oh no, it's for it's the for Smarties. This, is this, this is too. No, two scoops. Oh. What does that mean? I don't know, but let's taco about. Does it smell like tacos? It smells like bubblegum. What is this? All this stuff is. You can get a, a Valentine's yeah. Day bath bomb. It's so you can put a picture of your cat with sunglasses. I love my cat. Some some Valentine's Day. Uh, Vaseline lip therapy. Ooh, Valentine's Day Tide Pods. No. <laughs> this is the Valentine's Day fidget spinner area. You can get a Valentine's Day Batman fidget spinner. <gasps> That's not my Batman fidget spinner. What is this? Atomic Twist. Oh, these are like little brain games. You no, know, there are other, other fidgets. Yeah. Fidgets are like brain games. Are they? I thought they were just fidgets. Yeah, to keep your brain occupied. I thought that this thing came with the koosh, but that's, somebody just put it in there. Be a lot cooler if it did. I know. For your, uh, what are these? Are these American Girl dolls? I think I know more about American Girl dolls than you do. <laughs> uh, you can buy a car and it has a real FM radio in it. Well, I think that this is just a radio. No, it's oh, a car for the doll. But it, I feel like it's really just a radio. Well, I mean, yeah, that's all that it does, but you can put your doll in it and roll it around. What are those? Is that more Valentine's Day lip therapy? I feel like Tar Target is like, you will buy these things. Right? Because they also tried to sell these to me when I was shopping online. Oh. And now it's just here. That's strange. The Matrix is real. There's a pink one too. There's a glamping set for it too. You get a guitar and some fried eggs. I gotta tell you, when I was a kid, my, my dolls didn't even have shoes. So like, this is crazy. Your doll didn't have a kayak? No. <laughs> she has a wetsuit and everything. Well, yeah, she's a surfer. That's like a surfing horse. Barbie. Oh, I know. I, yeah, the, the horses and surfing Barbie make sense, but like ice cream truck Barbie? Oh my gosh, I love her. Her donut that. truck? Look at her little outfit. What is she doing? Is she going on she's a safari? On a safari. Oh, okay. There's a lot of different like versions them, of is, these dolls. They're teaching them to be like entrepreneurs. They're like, you're gonna open up a donut store. I know, I like that. You're gonna that. have your own food truck. This is, oh, this one's like Belle. Tale as old as time. Dolls as old as rhyme. This one has no face. This, look, the, you get, <laughs> there's like a doll Ikea. You didn't even look at the no oh, face. Oh, I'm sorry, I got distracted by the Ikea. <laughs> look, they, they had to build that themselves and they had like three extra screws. Oh my gosh, look at this one. <laughs> This is like a little, a little, uh, oh. she's like, ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 en français. Her name is Sabina. Bob Ross's Art of Chill. How do you chill? Like, what's this chill game? I don't know, I guess you have to paint and chill. Oh, you have to hold it? You have to pass it. You have to hold the Jenga game and we, play we it? We just donated, like, 50 board games, so no. Yeah. You gotta walk oh. a step away. Well, I want a, I want a puzzle. Came back for the Valentine's Day section. No longer, it's all grills and oh. outdoor furniture. What is it? What's so, ooh, are we getting, oh, you're looking at the cafe set? Yeah. I thought we were looking at grills. Look at this little tiny grill. Okay. This, you get a double grill. You get this one, and then like the mini me version of it. Here's, some, hmm. <laughs> Here's something that always stuck with me. So Tim's dad, when we were buying dining room set, like our dining room furniture, he always said that nice chairs have like the cross thing on the bottom of the chair. It doesn't oh, just yeah. have four legs. So I always look at that now. And like, you're like, ooh, I'm like, oh, look. Nice. It, but the table doesn't. So right. I, yeah. I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's also like particle board or something, but. Particle board. Yeah, this one is cool. It's kind of like 80s style. I think you could. I don't think I could. It looks are deceiving. We saw the taco one up front. There's a pizza pillow. You have a piece of my heart. What did you get for Valentine's Day? A googly eye cup this with some blue popcorn. This is a DIY thing you could make at home, but you bought it at Target for five dollars. Oh no, and look, most of them are missing an eyeball. Oh no. What's going on with this Yoda? This is not how Yoda looks. Powerful you have become. May the force be with you. I want to give you a Valentine's Day Porg. Oh, I have a Porg of my heart. What? <laughs> a Porg of my heart. Is that what they sound like? They sound like, uh, like seagulls. I don't understand. Oh my gosh, it has all the flavors in every piece. So every, every candy has each flavor. Is it ice cream? Well, it's supposed to taste like chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. I don't know. I like that they have Team USA Oreos. Oh. I don't like that they have hot and spicy cinnamon Oreos. That sounds real gross. I have found the perfect Valentine's Day cake. 
It's a hamburger. We're back at home and I wanted to show you guys our azalea has started flowering. Look at that. It's spring is here. I wanted to show you guys the progress of the puzzle that we got at the character warehouse. Pretty far along. We still got to do the castle up here. There's some mountains from uh, Big Thunder. And then the rest is all of these just, it's just white pieces that are very difficult like this. Like, I don't know, where does that go? Somewhere. Just a little random thought that ran through my head. How come there are good color names to name a horse? Like you can name a horse red or blue or silver, but you couldn't name it like purple. What's your horse's name? We call him purple. But you could be like, what's your horse's name? We call him red, right? Like, I guess it's a cowboy thing, maybe. So I tweeted about this the other day. We were trying to find an umbrella. This is the one that we normally use. This is from a company called Shed Rain, and we got it at Target. The thing that I like about this umbrella is that it is twice as big as, say, a normal umbrella, and it, it's just big, and it works better for me because I'm a large person. This one's larger, and it's rated to cover two people, but it really doesn't cover two people in the Florida rain because the Florida rain comes from all different directions, so good enough for one person. This is a normal size one person umbrella, but it's made of PVC, it's like clear plastic. We also ordered another one that's like a bubble style umbrella that comes down a little bit further, but it's just a stick. It doesn't fold up as tight as this one. Have you guys ever used the PVC umbrellas and why does this one leak? <laughs> it like soaks through after being out in the rain for an hour and then starts to drip on your head. It's not a lot of water, but it's still, it's enough to be annoying. So that's why I was asking about who likes what umbrellas. And a lot of people were like, you should get this $150 umbrella. And I was like, that's a lot of money for an umbrella. I went out to get the mail from the post office and also get the car wash. This isn't our car. There's our car. Yay. It's all clean. It's coming awfully close to that car though. We're in, I know this is completely random, but we're in St. Cloud, Florida. And we're at a place called Jimmy Bear's Barbecue. We just ate all this barbecue and it was delicious. And uh, you can see Jen still has hers. This brisket is really good. And look at this, I've never seen this before. It's like fried corn? I, I didn't know what they meant when they said fried corn, but it's actually fried an ear of corn. <laughs> like, that's cool. And you got like smoked mac and cheese. It's so good. And then I had, it was called Mr. Porky Potato Head. And it was a baked potato with cheese and tater tots and bacon and uh, pulled pork on top of it. Holy cow, for dessert, there's a <laughs> Butterfinger pie. And this one, what did she say this was? It's like Oreo, it looks like? I don't know. Holy macaroni. <laughs> We're downtown St. Cloud right now. Look at this little baby police substation. It's like one room with a clock. And look, there's City Hall down there. I like that this building has an, like a balcony, but you have to go out a window to get onto it. This is a pretty cool little town. It's very old feeling and it's cool. Don't you guys think this looks just like Branson? Like when we went to Missouri and we went down that main street area? Yeah. I'm gonna link it up in the corner so you guys can see it. But I think this looks, obviously this is more flat, but it looks just like it. Well, there you have it. That has been a home vlog. It was a lot of fun. Did a lot of stuff today. We did some cleaning up upstairs. Donated some stuff. We took Bandit to the vet. We found out that he's doing okay-ish. Not bad, but he's not doing uh, any better than he was before. So that's, I think that's good news. He hasn't regressed. So good news on that end. We went to Target. We found some really weird M&Ms. We found some weird, weird Oreos. So fun day was had by all. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi, we're the Mezzas. And now it's time to pay the price.